This morning, though, the first batches of Pfizer's COVID vaccine for kids expected to arrive at locations across the country. Shipments started rolling out over the weekend after the FDA approved the shot for kids 5 to 11 years old. And with CDC approval expected this week, some parents already booking appointments. Joining us now is BNC Chief Medical Editor, Dr. Corey Bear. Good morning to you, doctor. You told us to expect this. And you said not only was your daughter, and you, you revealed this the last time we spoke, part of a <clears> trial, uh, you said that parents should jump right in and, and do this. Um, could this turn this pandemic around for good? Well, the, the, the interesting part about this is that we know that it's hammer time, right? It's hammer time. But the parents are like, can't touch this. And I hate to be that way because <laughs> yeah, we have yeah. been fighting this fight for 20 months and billions of people have taken this vaccine but i'm here to tell you that black folks you know we have not had a really good uptake of this vaccine in our community we have definitely not uh, gotten our 12 year olds vaccinated at a very high rate so i'm sorry to say that i think that our five-year-olds are not going to be getting vaccinated yeah. at any high mm. level and that's very very sad and the reason why is because i'm going to harken back to colin powell right colin powell had multiple myeloma he had a disease of his plasma yeah. cells that make antibodies now think about this we knew that colin powell actually had a disease and he had uh, an immune problem because of this disease he still got vaccinated though what happens when you're at the thanksgiving dinner table with your grandmother mm -hmm. and you don't realize that she has an immune disease because she hadn't been diagnosed yet and then that little kid that's sitting at that table coughs on her gives her COVID-19 and then she's dead these are the things that we have to think about because we're going to miss the grandmother's uh, uh sweet potato pie recipe mm. we're going to miss our cousin's music we're going to miss our friends uh uh, uh in anything all the black things that we do the culture we have to do this for all the, the black culture things now. we do because that's what we do we're going to miss it and we're losing our culture Karen, this is it's real because we, we, you know, as, as we have lost so many older black people, we're losing stories uh, and, and things that we cannot replace. And we have to think about this as we move forward. Yeah, um, it, it is. It's just so disturbing that we cannot this far in. People such as yourself, experts, can't convince some people to do this. Um, we do know the CDC meets tomorrow, Wednesday. How soon? Can, can those of us who are interested in it get a shot in the arm for our kids once the CDC approves this? Well, things are being shipped right now. So let me just take you through this because it's gonna be a way that vaccines have always worked and, and they stick continue to work. The, rec the, the committee recommends it to the FDA and then the FDA votes on it, which happened last week. And then the ACIP, which is of the CDC, a lot of acronyms there, will say, when and how, right? So FDA is yes, and then CDC is when and how. And so now they have to vote, okay. and, and they, they're going to they're going to approve it, and it's actually going to be fine. And in about about three or four days, uh, we should be able to have this uh, at at doctors' offices because it's already being shipped now. Okay, so there's misinformation, of course. We've been battling that nonstop since the beginning of this thing and in other areas, too. And then there's the real stuff. Uh, let's talk about the real stuff, not this thing about, oh, fertility problems and this and that, uh, all these things that spread on the inter Internet. What kind of side effects might uh, a young child face uh, once they do get the shot? Well, the one big one that I want to address is this myocarditis thing, okay? So people have gotten, adults and children have gotten myocarditis from the vaccines, okay? And once again, I have to make sure people understand this. That's a, a very, very rare side effect of any vaccine that you could have given your child at two months, four months, six months, 12 months, 15 months, four years, six years, whatever, okay? And also myocarditis is more likely you get it from just walking around and not having any vaccine at all. The odds of you getting myocarditis are higher from just living and, and breathing in the United States to getting it from a, vac from a vaccine. So that's the first thing. So I want people to dispel that rumor that this is something very common. Mm -hmm. The other things are just the same thing that you get from any other vaccine. You could get nausea, vomiting, pain at the injection site, headache, uh, some myalgia, which is kind of overall body aches, the same types of things that you get from every vaccine that you've given your child and didn't question it for yeah. 60 years.
60 years, but you still gonna, you're going to do it now because of your research that you did, which is meaning sitting on the toilet watching Facebook videos. Yeah. That doesn't count as research. <laughs> well, I, I'm not going to cop to that, but I do. I know some people who do. I know some people who do do that, and, and it's just not reliable, <laughs> Doctor Abram. But real yeah. quick before we move on, because I want to talk about the New York situation there. What sure. is, myocarditis? Just quickly uh, break it down for us. Okay, it, it's inflammation of the heart muscle, which is something that happens all the time. It's and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not yeah. minimizing this. And it was higher with Moderna's vaccine in children it really hasn't been described in Pfizer's vaccine for children but you know how we okay. do we just lump them all together and say oh yeah. everybody's getting myocarditis mm -hmm. and that's just not the case yeah I'm just like we Tuskegee Tuskegee remember that was they exactly. withheld the, they did not exactly. give the life-saving treatment there so um yeah. but let's talk about the situation in New York because again something so simple so many of these people who are demonstrating and refusing this vaccine they've been vaccinated their whole lives as you made the point uh public safety concerns now you got firehouses having to shut down because of this sick out after new york mandates the vaccine for these first responders um others say they're facing suspension they don't care what what can you say appeal to them because again they're going to situations many of them where people are already medically compromised you know th this is the situation with this you know it, it must be very uh it must be very easy in life to be an upper middle class uh privileged uh person to be able to make yeah. these decisions so that your your family doesn't eat because you you don't want to get a vaccine i mean we've had emergency use authorization vaccines the meningitis vaccine that you take right now that your children, I mean, that your uh, high school and college students have to take to live in the dorms was an emergency use authorization. And I did the clinical trials mm -hmm. for it, so I know. So these things are people are, and they're angry, they're upset because people are making them do things. And that's just what America is not, has never stood for. America, quote unquote, has stood for, I have freedom. But when your freedom encroaches on my sensibility, okay, then it's time for mm -hmm. a change. And that's the way reality is, you know, just like just like Shannon said, I saw Shannon had on an Alpha Phi Alpha jacket. I mean, I'm an alpha. And the whole situation is when those cues mm -hmm. and cappers tried to encroach on his situation down there, he stood up. And I have to say that because <laughs> I, 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 I got to say that. I got to say that because I, I, I'm I, poor house. I'm I, poor house. OK. All right, Dr. Abert. Now I'm I'm with you, brother. But I'm just trying. I know you got to stand up for your frat, brother. But did you actually see Shannon stand up? Because he might have been hiding somewhere in the. You know, I'm just saying. Did you see this? Okay. I know he was probably right, doing yeah, this somewhere. To play with. <laughs> I, know, I know he was doing that somewhere. That's at, at FAMU because like I said I'm Morehouse, so I know how we, we do that. got the. We got the best, <laughs> Chief Medical. Wait, you're the best. Thank you, Dr. A. Bear. Um, hey, I'd like to see the footage shot. on that. Uh, we're going to check in get with you. Shot. That's right. Uh, get the shot, please. I don't get know how many times this man children, has to tell please. us. Thank you. We'll, that's right. We'll check back with you as uh, this mandate situation develops. I uh, just love Dr. A. Bear. Just love him. Love him.